Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here to do a bit of an unboxing video. So I got my my four Commander decks uh, that just came out, 2019 Commander, and uh, I was actually not going to do a video on this. I was just going to play these with my friends, and uh, I know it's surprising that I might even have some friends, right? Uh, but then, of course, the whole big thing over the weekend was. Someone got their decks and there was an error, the the misprint on the whole deck. I'm like, Phew, well, I better at least check and see. And if I'm going to check and see, I might as well make a video of it. Box inside of a box and boxes inside of that, of course. So let's take a look and might as well open up all these decks. and see if I got anything good. So this is actually the deck that I want, is the Merciless Rage, um, Madness, Rakdos, Colors. Um, I'm thinking Kirk is uh, the bomb right there, so probably gonna see some play. We got uh, Mystic Intellect with Savine, Faceless Menace, Kadena, Slinking Sorcerer, and Primal Genesis with Gered Conclave Exile. And I'm uh, not even sure which one was the misprint one. I want to say it was this Primal Genesis one. So let's open that one up first. Um, basically, I'm giving the three of these decks to my friends. So it's perfectly within my right to open them and look at them first before I give it away, right? So. Probably know pretty quick if I didn't hit the lottery jackpot, which the odds are extremely in favor that I did not. So, whatever. Just checking this out, having some fun. So, that looks normal. Um, real quick here. Ooh, got some stuff that we will probably read later about this deck. I'll even throw it over there. Um, these are meant to be played, so I am going to open them up. Um, and just check. I'll try not to ruin the cards with this knife. It's not a sharp knife. Um, thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> if you're watching this, you're probably just a fan of me, or you want to really see me do a face plant here and get regular cards that have not been misprinted anyway so let's just take a look at them we got Gered, got Atla Palani who is your egg commander apparently Marisi and then you got some uh, tokens and stuff so uh, didn't hit the lottery on this one I'm just gonna kinda go through these if you really wanna look at them you can uh, Beast Within, Cultivate. You can slow this down if you really want to look. Explore. Some good commons, of course, that are just commander stables, right? I don't play commander a whole lot, just with a couple, like three friends here, um, which is what you do, right? Um, but there, it's so much fun. Oh, we got a, there's a Mythic Wingmate Rock. Fell into the third path. Garrick. Stani, sure. I mean, this is probably an okay deck, right? I know that people are saying, like, they really wanted some more high dollar um, reprints. I remember when Thrag Tusk used to be 10 bucks. Yeah, I like the populate mechanic, so I would play this if I hadn't already kind of chosen that other deck. So, anyway, didn't hit the jackpot there. Let's go ahead and open up the next one and see if lightning can strike and we'll set this one aside for now deck number one deck number two so this is the one that I'll be playing merciless rage will I be playing it well probably not because Sometimes I think I'm an okay player, and then I get stomped. 
which I imagine is probably a common experience for some people. Anjay, Falconrath. Haste and discard a card to draw a card. The madness. The madness of it all. Probably. Um, I'm hoping to be. I'm hoping that's going to be a lot of fun. There's Anje. Anji. Whatever you want to say. Alright, let's open this up. Trying not to damage these cards. I think I didn't. Come on, Miss Prince. That's so rare. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to say Anye. You tell me if I'm wrong. Got Chainer and Grieven. And some double sided tokens, right? Zombie, zombie. Zombie, zombie, sure. Definitely want to make some zombie tokens here. Mire and Misery. Big Game Hunter is in Uncommon. Was it always in Uncommon? Play Crafter. Yep. Let's be sacrificing. Always, It's always be sacrificing, right? With this deck, I'm imagining. Meteor Golem. Yep. Kill your other your opponent's stuff. Archfiend of Spite. The Bone Miser. Curse of Fool's Wisdom. Kurik. There he is. Man. You got to be, I don't know, you got to be gaining some life with him there to make up for that effect, right? So, I think it's solid. Aeon Engine, he can totally Uno reverse the game with this. That's pretty cool. Sanctum of Eternity, return target commander you own from the battlefield to your hand. I think that's going to come in handy too. Boneyard Parlay, there's some reprinted Geth, reprinted Mythics here. Got an Obnixilis, Soul of Innistrad. Cool. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm not unfor unfortunately I'm not set up to record my gameplay that easily. I might it's something I might start doing in the future. Psalm Simulacrum, Exotic Orchard, some good stuff there. Command Tower, sure. Um let me know down below if you guys would really like to see me play Magic. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while. I you know I'm always just going through cards and looking at cards and talking about cards, but do I actually play with these cards, right? Um, is that something you're interested in? Should I do it? Do you care? Let me know. Um, really, like for me, time is an issue and setting up time to actually play magic is uh, always difficult especially like paper magic because I gotta get friends together and they got busy schedules um, I actually play a lot of arena but the way I play it I it's hard for me to stream it but it's something that if someone really wanted to see me do it I might consider it there's Kadena slinking sorcerer um, morph deck right I've never been a big fan of the morph mechanic but um, some people probably really like it. Oh, I got, oh, here's my first error. I've got two of these, uh, information pamphlets. Score! Got a big, uh, got a big misprint there. <laughs> well, if that's all I get, then I won't be, uh, uh, I won't be, uh, getting rich, I don't think. Hey, I just realized there's probably, like, a pull tab thing. I don't have to use the knife. You're probably all screaming at me, right? Just open it from the back. Just opens like that. All right, come on, big, big money, no whammies. We got any misprints? No. Got foil, Kadena, slinking sorcerer though. Got a Rayami, first of the fallen. Um, yeah, you could probably do a bunch of shenanigans with that. Volrath. More shenanigans, some sapling tokens manifest on the other side. Assassin and morph. Plant and morph. Leadership vacuum. Target player returns each commander they control from the battlefield to the command zone. Get out of here, commanders. Another mire and misery. Reality shift. Tezzeret's Gambit. 
an okay card. Cultivate, Far Seek. These are all kind of staple ramp kind of stuff that you got to see in a commander deck, right? Soul Ring. Every deck seems like, right? Got to have that extra ramp there. Kadena's. Whoops. So this is a new card, right? Kadena's Silencer. When Kadena Silencer is turned face up, counter all abilities your opponents control. Ooh. Only abilities, though, not spells. So, interesting. You can make a morph it. What else we got? Sudden Substitution. It's got Split Second. Exchange Control, Target Non Creature Spell, and Target Creature. Then the spell's controller may new choose new targets for it. Okay, okay. Thought Sponge. That's, that's cute. Gift of Doom. Death. Touch an indestructible thieving amalgam, a big dinosaur, a nice looking road. Grismold, the dread sower. I did see this card and it looked interesting. Trample at the beginning of your end step. Each player creates a 1 1 green plant creature token. Whenever a creature token dies, put a 1 1 counter on Grismold, the dread sower. There was, um, there was a combo I was thinking of that I thought would work well with this, but now it doesn't come to mind, so. More on that later sometime. Pendant of Prosperity, Scroll of Fate, Ghastly Conscription, Hydra's Vraska, Crabs, Dancers, Shapeshifters, other stuff. There you go. Exotic Orchard, sure, okay. No misprints. Put this one back and we'll take a look at the last one. Will my luck pan out? I got I got two information pamphlets. It's gotta be worth something, right? Next up, Savine the Chronoclasm. This is the flashback deck, right? Oops. Which, uh, that's probably got a bunch of possibilities. Nope, only got one pamphlet there. Let's see. Any misprints? Is it possible? It's definitely possible to open this up easily. When you look, when you do it that way. Boop, 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 boop. Just regular old Magic the Gathering cards. Oh well. Savine the Chronoclasm. It's a flashback maker. Got a prowess monk here. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a non creature, non land card. And you may cast it as though it had flash. Primacon. It's a wall, huh? Flying Defender. You can choose left or right. Each a each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the chosen direction and planeswalkers controlled by that opponent. Hmm. Interesting. Pegasus and human, right? Let, hold on, let's go back here. Spirit, human. Pegasus, human. Drake, human. Treasure, human. I'm seeing a trend here. Got some uncommons, another leadership vacuum. Ghostly prison. It's a good card. Chemistry's Insight, sure. Factor Fiction, Mystic Retrieval. So lots of sorceries and instants to, that you would want to cast more than once. Think twice, flashback it. And flashback it again, right? Faithless Looting, just caught banned in Modern, but it's still legal in Commander, right? So farm to market. All right, let's see our rares here. Mandate of Peace. Cast this spell only during combat. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. End the combat phase. Oh, no more combat for you. Savine's Reclamation. Return target permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was cast from a graveyard, you may copy this spell and you may choose a new target for the copy. And then it's got flashback. I think that's got some possibilities. There's some permanent cards with converted mana cost three or less that you'd want to have back from your battlefield or from the graveyard right like this mass diminish while still an identity dockside extortionist when dockside extortionist enters the battlefield create x treasure tokens where x is the number of artifacts 
and enchantments your opponent's control. Mm, okay. Gerard. He's got first strike. When Gerard, he, when he dies, exile it and return it to the battlefield. Return to the battlefield. All artifact and creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Coup. Auto generator enters the battlefield tapped. Put a charge counter on empowered auto generator. Add X mana of any one color where X is the number of charge counters on empowered auto generator. Okay. You're going to have to ramp it up a bit, but it's got some possibilities. Pristine Angel. As long as it's untapped, it's got protection from artifacts and from all colors. Maybe you cast a spell, you may untap Pristine Angel. Oh. I think there's a combo to be had there. Get spell, untap, tap it, you know, put a tap uh, mechanism on it. So there you go. Sun Titan, the classic clever impersonator. Ral Zarek, he found his way into a commander deck. Find Reckoning, Dust, Increasing Devotion. Yep, more sorcery. There's the Zatalpa. Get that guy out there. Enchantments, River Kelpie, Talran, sure. Make a bunch of drakes with all your instants, right? That's probably one of the first decks I ever made when I got back into Magic when he was in M13, I think. I was trying to make I was trying to make drakes happen. It's hard. It was hard to do in standard. <laughs> Skywise, Refuse, Exotic Orchard, some lands, commander stuff, Soul Ring again. Sure. So that's that. I didn't hit the big time with some misprinted cards but I'm looking forward to just playing this with some friends and having some fun maybe we'll get into a fist fight over it uh, should be a good time so anyway thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you're gonna play some commander and how much better at it than uh, you are than I am down below thanks for watching